Just putting that over here. I got kissed by a madman. Everybody do do's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have to get me a man. But I have done a few questionable things though. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lab Skills, and how are y'all doing today? I know y'all missed me. I know. I know, trust me, I'm a very self-aware person. I know I haven't dropped a video in two months. And honestly, that should be illegal. Yeah, um, officer, this one right here. Yeah, she should be in jail because that should be illegal. Two months, let me, better than that, better than that. But I had exams and, you know, to me, you know, exams would be the priority because you two not making me no money. <laughs> At least when I go to school, I get some lunch money, you know what I'm saying? So priorities. But now I'm back, I'm back on the scene, I'm here. I'm here, I know y'all miss me on your screens. I know, I know, cause y'all was down my throat for those two months like, well, when you post the next video, when you post the next video. I'll post the next video when I post the video. Anyways, <laughs> today's video, we'll be answering some uncomfortable questions. I went on my Instagram and I was like, yo, I'm doing a video and uh, asking some uncomfortable questions that you guys would wanna, want, me, want, me, want me to answer. We got a good amount of questions, so I think I'm just gonna answer those. So this is like my start to summer. You know, you know it's a Q and A, chill, chill video you know sit down talk to y'all get to know me a little better so yeah so don't forget to subscribe like share um yeah you guys gotta get me out of the head because your girl your girl is broke your girl is up oh, poor um so you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta do what you need to do and do what you gotta do so basically we're gonna get into the video so Okay, so the first question is thoughts about pooping in public. I don't recommend. I don't recommend. Don't do it because there's it will just go wrong. Personally, I just feel like if you're gonna poop in a public restroom, there's just something that's gonna go wrong. You probably don't have enough tissue, it probably won't flush. And one of my biggest fear is like pooping and then somebody coming in there and be like, Oh my god, do you smell that? I would kill myself. So I have pooped in public though. I Sometimes you just can't hold it. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Everybody do do's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody takes a, you know, a poo. So what about it? What about it? Do you have any fetishes? Um, no, not that I know of. No, I don't think I have any yet. Mm. <laughs> do you fall or crumble your toilet paper? I'm actually a very organized individual when it comes on to butt care. <laughs> So I fold my toilet paper and then I wipe from front to back. Okay, people, front to back. You don't want the booty bacteria going in your coochie. So front to back, you know what I'm saying? For the men out there who thinks that watching their butt would probably be like a little gay, it's not, it's not, it's not. Wash your booty, get it all up in there. You know what I'm saying? Period, period. <laughs> Are you planning on getting married? So a few months ago when I started my YouTube channel, I dropped a Q and A. And in that Q and A, I was like, I don't see marriage in my future um it's not the vibe i don't want to do it i don't want to do it now something happened to me the other day <laughs> something happened to me the other day and i was just like i have to get me a man now i'm gonna tell you the story so <clears throat> a few a few nights ago i i was at i was at my friend's house and he came back home um having a jolly good time you know i was in my room i was watching mortal instruments i'm a big shadow hunters fan so i was re-watching the show you know so i was just like okay period i'm lying down this way Facing this way towards the TV, lying down this way. I see something run from underneath my bed to like my walls. So I was like, that doesn't look like a cockroach. Because if it was a roach, I'ma kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'ma kill it, ah, like, I'ma kill it. So I look and I was like, that look a little big. Like, <laughs> it looked like a cockroach. So I turned on my flashlight real quick, right? It was a big ass lizard. Like, I'm not even talking like a baby lizard. It was a big ass lizard, dog. So I was like, oh, <laughs> it's not looking good for me, is it? So I, uh. I got scared. I got scared. And like, I called my mom. I called my mom. Sleeping. Now, it was 3 a.m. And I know you guys are gonna be like, why y'all calling your mother after 3? If you kill lizard. <laughs> Priorities, people. So I called her and I'm like, yo, mommy, can you bring the broom and the spray comb? Because like, there's a really big lizard in my room. I'm scared. Keep in mind, people, I'm in tears. Like, I'm actually hyperventilating in the car. I stood up over there, so in the car down my room, crying on the phone to my mother. And I'm like, yo, please bring the broom and please bring the spray comb. And she's like, I'm not going to come from phone. Me not come and I bring you up and come and I'm just like, bro, just say you hate me, like on 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 me. Just say you hate me, cause why would you even say that? Like, anyways, during that experience, I realized that there's no way I'm gonna grow up and be a person living by myself. Because if there 
is gonna be a lizard and I have to have a man to kill that lizard, you know? That's the story of now why I would like to get married because I'm scared of lizards and I can't kill them. So um, <clears throat> if you like killing them stuff, I mean like hit me up, like let me know. Like you, you may be the one, like yeah. <laughs> How many people have you dated? Uh, zero by default. <laughs> due to circum, circum, uh, <laughs> due to circum circumstances. Uh, that's actually like a due to cir circumstances. Um, zero. Uh, zero by default. Would you cheat? Um, no. Just tell the person you don't want them no more. I feel like cheating just goes nowhere. I, I go by this mantra. I'm just like, okay, you're gonna leave them. Hear me out. You're gonna leave them anyways, right? And they're gonna be heartbroken, right? That's one heartbreak, right? But if you leave them and then you're gonna cheat on them on top of that, so you're gonna cheat and then you're gonna leave them after that, bro, that's two heartbreaks. Like, let's just prevent that. Leave with one, you know what I'm saying? Story of the first time doing drugs. Um, I don't do drugs. Um, <laughs> um, is alcohol a drug? Would alcohol count as a drug? It would, it would. I don't do drugs, but I think alcohol counts. But my first time, first time drinking alcohol, I think it was in grade 10 and uh, I was in my emo phase. So like, I filled my report card and I was like, oh my God, everybody hates me. I'm stupid, I'm done. And I was just like, <sighs> Let's get lit. Anyways, don't recommend. Drink water. <laughs> How many times you wear your bra before washing it? Okay, so asking this question would have to like imply that I have boobs. Um, I don't. <laughs> Baby, I'm still wearing trainers. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm still wearing trainers. Like I do own bras, right? To be honest, I I sometimes I wash them after one wear and sometimes after three wears. It depends. A little sniff test. Okay, it's still fresh. Okay, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> and that's why it doesn't make me disgusting. It makes me human. Baby names. Um, I don't. I don't want kids. No. Worst experience with an ex. Um, this is an uncomfortable question. This is probably the most uncomfortable question you guys have asked all day. Um, so asking this question will have to imply that I have an ex. Um, I kind of do. I kind of don't. Um, it was a good jolly old time. Personally, I uh, th this experience with the person was not that long, and um. It was triggering. It was triggering. It makes me not want to like it. I due to that, <laughs> it was the breakup. It was a breakup. Like I didn't cry or nothing. You know, gangsters don't do that. But it was just mean, like inconsiderate of the other person's feelings. And I, honestly, I feel like it would be better if they just said, "Girl, I don't want you no more." You know, like mm, me, you not gonna work. Honestly, it's it's you. It's not me, right? It's like that. Oh, it's 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 me. It's not you. Like I'm sorry. Yeah, I honestly I prefer that. Yeah, and then they hit me with the we could still be friends though what <laughs> wait of course i said yeah <laughs> but not the point though that was the worst experience and the only experience and now i'm hashtag single period um <laughs> best decision made in the last two years my youtube channel i mean sometimes it get hard sometimes i want to quit and but this is what i want to do and it it warms my heart sometimes when people are like oh my god when you're gonna drop a video oh my god i love your videos oh my god i love the way you edited this last video like Y'all, y'all make me want to like cry for real, like. But it's okay. I do appreciate you guys. I, I appreciate you guys, and I, I love you guys so much. So thank you, thank you for watching my channel. I really do. Thank y'all. <laughs> Why don't you have a man? Get a man. They literally said, get a man. Um, no. <laughs> my answer is no. Uh, ew. What's the most embarrassing thing to ever happen to you? I was thinking about this question, and honestly, I'd like to say I do embarrass myself a lot. But an embarrassing thing that has happened to me was, pl uh blocking clogging somebody's toilet i'll tell you the story i went to my aunt's house and i was using the upstairs toilet and um i pooped yeah and it wasn't flushing like i i mm. i went to flush was not flushing it was not giving what it was supposed to get so i had to look to the side right <laughs> and there was no plunger so i was like wait it's not looking good and that's the bathroom that like, everybody uses so like i had to make a quick mission so i was like okay i have to run downstairs get the plunger run back upstairs Plunge the toilet, flush it, and run back downstairs, put back the plunger, and everything's all good. I did that though, and it, and it worked well. Um, first kiss. <laughs> I mean, like, y'all, my mom is watching this video, and probably like a ton of idols that I know. So, this is me incriminating myself, but maybe they won't, they, maybe they won't watch this video. It's fine. So, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell you the story. So, um, there's two stories. So, you have a peck, right? Because a, pe a kiss is a kiss, right? You have a peck, and then you have a kiss kiss, if you know what I mean. You know what? yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so the the first one the peck was in primary school and this dude straight up i'm not gonna lie to you it was not consensual homeboy came up to me and went Mwah, and ran away 
So me being a young child, you know, I rang the bathroom, washed up my mouth. But what made it worse was that he was like mentally ill. And I'm not saying he was mentally ill because he just ran up to a girl and kissed her without her permission. That's one. But he was actually like mad. Like, I'm not kidding you. His mother was a mad woman and he was mad. And I don't understand who he's coming to like school as a regular student if he like needed additional help. But, you know, to each his own. Um, but uh, yeah, he was actually mad. So um, just putting that out there. I got kissed by a madman. That's a great... Um, icebreaker story <laughs> but the real kiss i was 16 um i would rate it a good eight out, seven or eight out of ten 7.5 um it was good but i was weird <laughs> i was just like oh i don't know what i'm doing ah mm. <laughs> saliva <laughs> um but yeah big up to that person always um yeah yeah uh that's the vibe um <laughs> do you pee in the shower yes I do and uh enjoy every second of it would you ever try an open relationship um no <laughs> i mean i'm not putting it past me like i feel like it could be done you know it's possible like who's to say it's not possible it's possible of course but if i'm in an open relationship i would want to be open and they have to be closed you know what i'm saying which which wouldn't be fair in logical thinking but it's just who i am what is my biggest insecurity I have this thing where I don't tell people my insecurities because then they're gonna like look at it more and like realize it more because you have to understand that like a lot of people don't realize the stuff that you're insecure about. I don't like pointing it out, but since it's just me and you guys here, like nobody else, nobody needs to say this. I, I just, I'll tell you. Um, so my, my hands, I'm insecure about my hands because they're not the softest thing in the world. Um, yeah, you'd like expect a girl's hands to be like super soft. These, these aren't, I don't like when people touch my hands and like some of my friends started realizing it and they were thinking like, oh, I'm a germophobe. And I was like, no, my hands just aren't soft. And I don't want to be thinking in my head like, damn, this girl hand rough, which happened to me one time. I shared this person's hand at school and they were like, oh my God, your hand is so rough. Did you used to play a B-box at school? Because like, why would you even say that? Like. Why would you even say that you know what i'm saying um i think this is the last question i think i'll just finish it off with this do i like when men who aren't my friends talk to me no no if you see me in the street don't say hi don't talk to me i hate it i hate it i hate it so much because men are so aware they make me so uncomfortable and it's just not a jolly good time i went out one time and this guy did not know like the definition of personal space so basically i was chilling um uh, homeboy came up to me and was like oh my god i recognize you from like youtube or tiktok so i was like okay that's cool. You know, I got that a few times during a day to day walk. You know what I'm saying? In my family center. Uh, period. Another point. So he was like really close to me. Like he was, he wanted to talk to me. So he was like really close. Like back it up. Like, sir, you can back up a little. You know what I'm saying? You can keep a six inches at uh, all times. COVID. He was so close. I kid you not. I could feel his breath walking back into my face. So, um, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Yeah. And that, that, that wraps up the video. That wraps up the video. I think. I think I answered a few uncomfortable stuff here. Yeah. Think y'all got a little insight into who I am. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. <laughs> I'm a rebel. I'm a, I'm a big girl. So um, basically, that's the end of the video. And I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for watching. Peace and love, always. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I said already. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Let me hear the vibes. Let me hear, you know, what y'all have to say. And um, see y'all in the next video, which will be... Probably soon, right after this one is posted. So, uh, bye bye, 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 bye. Later.